Hey everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. With the holidays fast approaching, I'm thinking of all the ways I want to decorate my gifts and tags and all that fun stuff for wrapping my holiday gifts this year. So I thought it'd be fun to share a project of making your own DIY wrapping paper. Craft is always one of those trends that stays around for a long time. It's a classic. And craft wrapping paper, I think, is one of the most charming ways that you can wrap your gifts. And what makes it even more fun is to make your own patterns and designs on that craft wrapping paper. So I'm going to show you how I made some really festive wrapping paper with Simon Says Stamps brand new All the Joy release. I also made some tags and embellishments for these gifts too. And I'll walk you through everything I did today. So let's start first with some stamping. I have the Festive Bouquets stamp set and also the Seasons Tweetings stamp set. Both of these are from the new All the Joy release and I'm going to be using pieces of each one to stamp a fun pattern. I've picked out a really nice bouquet and I also have the snow image from Seasons Tweetings. I've already made one off camera using red and white inks. I love this look, it's super pretty. I'm going to also try ink some green. I think green on top of craft is another beautiful color pattern. You could also just stamp these with white. Here I used white pigment ink to create this nice festive wrapping paper. Craft wrapping paper is pretty easy to find in the wrapping paper section of most stores. And I have a couple different ones in my stash. So I also stamped this fun star pattern too. It just goes to show you that all sorts of fun images can be repeated across these papers to create a beautiful pattern. So I'm going to use Simon's and Stamps brand new kale ink. It's a beautiful green for Christmas. It's a nice rustic green. I'm going to stamp this floral image with that ink all over my wrapping paper. As I'm stamping it, I'm rotating the stamp to get a different orientation and it's going to nestle these pieces into each other to create a really nice repeating pattern. I find this super fun and therapeutic. Just put on some Christmas music and just ink away, stamping these fun patterns across your paper. If you notice, I'm leaving empty spaces so that way I can fill it in with some smaller images. One of the small images that I'm using today and for this particular piece is that snow stamp from the Seasons Tweeting set. And I'm using white ink to stamp this. Like I said, you could use different colors of inks than what I'm using today. I thought it'd be fun to also stamp some of these in just white, which is what you saw at the beginning of this video. But adding some color too is a great way to be able to match it up to your tags and other fun accessories you're going to add on top of your gifts. So I've stamped this nice piece here. I'm going to roll it up so that way it doesn't get wrinkled before I start wrapping my gifts. Here are a side by side comparison of the red and green. You can see it gives a completely different look, but both are gorgeous. Which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious. All right, but besides stamping, you can also ink blend on top of your wrapping paper. So I'm going to use the Ornament Mask stencil and also Simon Says Stamp's new snow pattern stencil. Both of these are new from the All the Joy release, and I've picked out one of the ornaments that I'm going to mask off this cute little snowflake with. I'm taping the two stencils together so that I can just continually move this entire set across my wrapping paper after I've ink blended each ornament. So I'm going to use Scarlet Ink from Rainbow Splash. This is a gorgeous red color, and I'm going to use that to ink blend through the stencil across the entire wrapping paper. This nice deep red is a perfect color for Christmas. And as I'm moving along and adding more ornaments, I'm just rotating the ornament so it's not facing the same way all the time. And like I did for the stamping, I left some open spaces. I'm going to use this older stamp set from Simon Says Stamp, but it's a goodie. It's the Holiday Sparkle Greetings, but you'll notice there's lots of great stars that go with these greetings. And I thought the stars would be perfect to intertwine between the snowflake ornaments. So I've picked out two different stars that I'm going to interchangeably use to fill in the empty spaces. And I used white pigment ink to stamp these. So here's that fun festive paper. I just love those twinkle stars. They look so cute. So I used my wrapping paper to actually wrap some of my gifts. Yes, I've already bought a couple of gifts this year. And I wrapped this one here with a little bit of white ribbon to add a nice pop of white to tie in the white that we have on our wrapping paper. And now I'm going to add an embellishment. So I have this airy pine needle that I die cut from some green card stock. Then I'm going to use that kale ink again and I'm going to use a sponge applicator to dab that ink onto my die cut so that I can shade it. 
I want some of that lighter green to still show through, but by adding some darker green, it's going to give this pine needle a little bit of dimension. So this airy pine needle is also new from the release and it's gonna look so cute tucked underneath my bow. It's such a simple and small thing to die cut a little embellishment like this and just tack it on to your gift. So I will eventually glue this down once I'm happy with the placement so that way I can adhere this onto the package and it won't move around when I have it under the tree. But doesn't it look so cute? I also have these new label tag dies from Simon Says Stamps All The Joy release and the Bountiful Berries die set. I've die cut the tag from some red card stock and now I'm going to use these die cuts that I cut from white to create a nice little sprig of berries and leaves on my tag. I've die cut them from white because I want to actually color these with my inks. So I'm gluing all of the little pieces together to form the beautiful shape. So what's really nice is this die actually cuts everything out all at once. So you can really easily make a whole bunch of these if you wanted to. The leaves you'll just glue on top of the corresponding leaf that fits with it. And then you'll have this really nice dimensional looking leaf that you could have cut from different colors of cardstock if you like, but I love ink blending. So I'm actually gonna use the trio of new inks, cabbage, artichoke, and kale to ink blend a nice bit of shading onto this leaf cluster. And I think that's gonna look so pretty on top of our red tag. This is going to give it some nice dimension and it'll look really cute sitting on top of this tag. It really fits perfectly. I do want to accentuate the tag a bit more though. So I'm going to pull out the holly and pine new embossing folder from the All The Joy release. And I'm going to fit my tag inside of it so that way I can emboss it with just a bit of texture. This is going to be peeking out from around our little leaf cluster, which adds some nice interest to the background. It steps up the simple tag quite a bit. I also have a color in the berries. I did use that same scarlet ink from Rainbow Splash to ink blend onto these berries. I wanted these to match my wrapping paper, so that's why I made sure to incorporate this ink color into my project so that way it would coordinate nicely with the gift wrap. Keeping your colors cohesive is really going to make the entire piece look spectacular. So I have my berries, and the last thing I wanna do is, before I glue them down, embellish the leaves with a little bit of glitter. So I'm going to put some craft tacky glue from Simon's Stamp onto the edges of the leaves and then using Tim Holtz's clear Distress Rock Candy glitter, I'm gonna sprinkle that right over top to get a really nice sparkle along the edges. So when this catches the light, especially under the tree with the Christmas lights, you'll get that hint of sparkle, which looks so beautiful. I also glued my berries onto my tag using the same craft tacky glue. On top of the berries, I did add a little bit of extra sparkle too. I put a little bit of stickles in just a simple little highlight line along the side. That's just to make it look like there's a little bit of a glow or a sheen on them. Around the edges of my tag, I decided to add a little bit of a snowy effect. So I'm bringing in some of that same white pigment ink we used to do our stamping, and I'm going to use a sponge applicator to just pounce a little bit of that ink around the edges. These sponge applicators are super handy for getting into tight areas. I did put a little bit of glue around the edges of where I added that snow effect so that way I could put some mica flakes on top of it. I love mica flakes. They add such chunky, icy sparkle to your Christmas projects. It's a fun way to be able to add that bit of sparkle and shine. I am also loving the new silver and white twine from Simon Says Stamp. I'm going to use that to tie my tag onto my gift. So I'm just gonna put a little loop through the tag and then pull the ends together through that loop, which then gives me two ends that I can then tie around the bow so that way the tag doesn't move. I will trim those ends down so they aren't as long. And now that I have my tag in place, then I can go ahead and put my little pine bow in there too. And like I said, I'll just use a little dab of glue to hold it in place so it doesn't move. But check that out, isn't that adorable? It makes me so happy that I was able to make my own wrapping paper and create the perfect look for the gift that I was giving. And what's really fun is you can customize your wrapping paper to match the recipient. So that way you can really give them a truly thoughtful gift. This is such an easy project and so much fun to do, really requires very little supplies and you could simplify it even more by not adding some of the extra details that I did. I wanted to show you another tag that I made. This one, I featured the layering peppermint stripes stencils onto this tag. So this is a set of three stencils that you can use in any way you like to create different types of peppermint stripes. 
So I'm going to start first by ink blending one of the layers with that scarlet ink that I've been using. I love this for a Christmas red, it's so pretty. I applied that through the first layer of the stencils, removed it so I have these nice stripes which will look great just like this. You could leave it and not have to add anything else, but there are other layers so it's fun to add more. I'm going to then use Surf and one of the other stripe layers to add that nice bit of a blue frosty color. And finally, this little mini double stripe stencil is fantastic for adding additional details and you can overlap this however you want, but I'm going to use some sparkle paste from Brutus Monroe to apply that through this little stripe stencil and I'm going to get some really subtle sparkly stripes in between my other colors. This is a very small detail, but when it catches the light, like for the leaves on my other tag, it's a perfect sparkly touch. So now I'm going to add a snowflake. I die cut the snowflake burst die from some white glitter cardstock and I also die cut Simon's fancy happy holidays die from some metallic red cardstock. Metallic red for Christmas is one of my absolute favorite papers to use. It especially looks good when you die cut greetings. I'm going to glue my snowflake into the center of my striped tag and then I'm going to add the happy holidays underneath and I did pop that up with some foam tape. This is looking fantastic, but I thought it'd be fun to step up that snowflake a little bit more. So I went through my stash and I found this sparkling snowflake frame and trio die set from Simon's Stamp. And the smaller snowflakes that come with this frame are perfect to work with this particular snowflake burst. So I die cut these smaller snowflakes from the same white glitter cardstock. And now I'm gluing two of them into the center of my larger snowflake to give it a layered effect. It is so pretty. And I also made sure that it overlapped the greeting. So that way it gives this whole tag a really dimensional and snowy feel. Of course, we can't forget about the center. I love adding a little sparkle in the middle of all my snowflakes. So I did use a gem sticker to go ahead and pop that right in the middle of my snowflake tag. And then that same silver and white twine, which is fantastic for the holidays. I'm just gonna use that to tie through the top of my tag like I did for the other one. And that way I can loop it onto my gift. So this gift I wrapped with the snowflake wrapping paper that we created, really keeping the snowflake theme here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually put another one of those snowflake burst die cuts, also cut from the same white glitter cardstock that the tag was cut from. I slipped that underneath of the bow that I put on this gift. And finally, I'll tie my little tag on top of that so that way I have a perfectly complimenting tag and gift wrap set here for this gift that I'm going to give at Christmas. So I love how these turned out. This is such a fun project. You could do this with your kids. It would be a great family and friends project that you could sit around one evening and do together for the holidays. I really enjoy these extra special crafts for Christmas and the holiday season. So I hope that you were inspired by the ideas that I've shared today and that you'll try it out too. It's really fun and I promise you it's easy. You're going to be making a whole bunch of these all at once. I guarantee you. If you're interested in any of the supplies that I did use today, I have them linked below in the video description and I have picture links over on my blog too for you to check that out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you can find the link below in the video description. I'm also participating in a blog hop today, so if you'd like to see even more inspiration using Simon Says Stamps All the Joy release, you'll want to check it out. There are many other designers like me sharing projects, and I always enjoy these blog hops because there's a lot of great ideas that everybody is sharing, and it's a great way to get some inspiration. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I will be back soon to share more with you all, but until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.